one. Hi, I'm Jefferson. I'm here with my partner Brad. We're in Texas today doing diligence on a mobile home, uh, several mobile home parks. Um, I'm going to talk briefly about uh, heat and air. Uh, now, if you purchase a mobile home park that has no park owned homes, uh, you don't need to worry about this. But inevitably, most parks come with uh, some park owned homes, or you may be uh, planning to infill your mobile home park with, with some homes that you're going to own. So uh, you'll almost certainly have to get involved with heat and air. Now this is a four ton uh, heat and air unit here. Uh, and this is a very large house. You can't see all of it. This is a 16 by 80. For very large houses, you'd probably want a three and a half or four ton unit. Uh, that's just a measurement of how much air, how many cubic feet of air in the house uh, a unit can cool. So. Um, for our parks, I believe really all of our at least three bedroom houses would have at least a, a three ton unit uh, and then four bedroom houses again would be three and a half, four tons. Um, these can be quite expensive. So if you are again purchasing a park that comes with some houses or if you're thinking of infilling, uh, don't forget to budget for heat and air units. These units installed, depending on where in the country you're, you are, uh, probably you're going to run anywhere from about $2,500 to maybe $3,200 to get this installed. This is what actually cools uh, some chemicals that go back in the house that get um, uh, that the air then blows over, creating the air conditioning inside. Um, of course, you can if you have a more modest park or more modest home. You might choose to just install a window unit that I think you can purchase for around $99. Bucks. Uh, at, at Walmart, but it just doesn't look as good and it doesn't cool generally more than a room. Um, so again, the larger units like this, central heat and air, typically are going to run you uh, 2500 to, to, to 3200 bucks. Um, when they need repair, uh, typically what goes bad is that the Freon in them gets worn out after, say, perhaps five to seven years, depending on how frequently they're used. Uh, just doing a repair and getting the new Freon. There's some new regulations that, that, that have uh, required a, uh, a more environmentally friendly chemical be used. But repairing these things, getting them recharged, can also be about 500 bucks. So not an insignificant expense. So just be aware of that. If you're purchasing a park uh, that comes with central heat and air units, you might try turning them on, testing them, make sure they actually work. Uh, if they don't, again, you could be looking at at least 500 to have them recharged uh, or upwards of 3,000 uh, to have them replaced. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, let me just point out, this one is set <clears throat> on a plastic pedestal. Sometimes these will be concrete. You don't want to put your heat and air unit directly on the ground. So this is a, a, a proper set. You want to have this up off what, uh, what, what might be damp ground. Uh, so we typically use, again, either these sorts of couple inch thick ABS plastic pads uh, or we'll actually pour a concrete pad and put the unit on that. Uh, that's a proper set. Thanks.